everyone, this is Kathleen Baber from Apricot Tree Planning and today I'm going to do a plan with me for the third week in January already. And I'm in my classic happy planner. The cover and, and the rings come from one planner, but the insides come from another, which is, um, oh see I have plans here, I'm going to make a house cleaning section decided I really do in 2018 want to go beyond the calendar in my planner and use it for some more organization stuff. So here is last week's spread and this was a kit by Nikki plus three. I have really loved it. I think it is so so pretty and absolutely just oh, I love it. It just has that beautiful frosty feeling that January does. So this is the week we're going to plan 15th through the 21st and we're going to use a kit from my shop that I just got up this last weekend. I have a couple of February things still I'm trying to get up today um, and I have a lot of formatting to do to get them in all the sizes. So this is the kit. It's called Knit with Love. My sister is a knitter and a crocheter, and I just thought that this clip art was so pretty, and I really liked pairing it up with the snowflakes. I thought it turned out really, really darling. Um, so like this pattern is kind of all these interlocking loops like knitting is, and then this pattern I actually created myself um, to look like knit. And then we have this really pretty winterscape and this really really cute um, clip art that I purchased just really darling and then we have a really pretty bottom washi I know in happy planners you don't get the big impact of the washi but it's just still really sweet and then we have heart checklists and the full box checklist with the with that knit pattern behind it yeah go. Then we have, these are washi strips. And these are three check check boxes if you don't like to do the all big ones. I usually use these, something smaller or not at all on, on the weekend. We have your icons, your cute weekend banner, and the fun thing is because this is like this little heart shaped ball of yarn, you could totally use this as a February spread. Quite easy. And then we have our word, scripty icons, more deco here, and then your headers. Um, I have the to do and today, but then I have just kind of this little swirl that you can use instead of saying little things. Um, some folks really like that on top of their full boxes. Um, my full boxes include the header, so you technically don't need it with this one, but anyhow. And then you've got your weekly little guy that's great. And then this, I haven't decided if I'm going to use them or not. I'm not a big date cover person, but I think these are really, really pretty. And so I may go ahead and use them. And they're light. So I guess my biggest problem with date covers is when they're too dark. They make the page feel scrunchy to me. And then these are little time corners. And I am started using these, especially in my um, traveler's notebook. I just put down the little date corner and write it out. I don't have to necessarily have a whole appointment strip. And it looks really, really nice when I do that. And then these are the littles that come with the kit. You get four more types of headers. One's this cute like little bow garland. And this one kind of looks like snowflakes. And this is like a banner garland and more of the little swirl that I drew and then your regular little things of, of meals and TV shows and good stuff like that. So there you go. That's that full kit. Um, you'll see this again when I do a new release, but um, that's when I finish up those other kits as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll probably go silent here for a little bit and do some of the basics really fast. I'll do the date covers, the bottom washi, and um, the to-do boxes. 
I'll probably do all to do's on the bottom and then all um, full boxes in the middle and this will be for like events um, I don't have a ton this week thank goodness this last week kind of killed me killed my productivity in the shop like a lot so anyhow let me get started on that and then I'll be back with you when we're doing the planning planning Okay, I think this is a pretty good foundation. Um, I should have whited out the numbers underneath. Um, and as you can see, there's just a couple that are really actually like peeking up. So I thought I was on my new mat, but this is actually my older mat. And it does have a little bit of shadowing. So whiting that out would be better. Uh, the bonus of the new of the old mat over the new mat is it's a, it's a lot more removable. So I decided, and I don't even know why, <laughs> to put to bump these kind of down onto the actual onto the washi, and then add the little swirly header. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. Um, I might go back and put this little swirly on top of here if there's enough room once I get my planning boxes in. Um, oh, I haven't put down my weekend banner. This weekend banner has gotten a little large. I think maybe I need to look at reformatting that. I don't think I have a lot going this weekend, so it's not a big deal. But 
I'm going to go ahead and stick that down there. I don't know, guys. I'm not sure I'm loving that. I think maybe I want like some washi behind it, like some polka dots. See if I can pull this up without breaking it. And for some reason, all my nice little sharp, sharp scissors, my little crafty ones, I have like two or three pair are all missing. So it's like I can't even cut the little tails. This is just like useless. So let's see. Let's do one more. One more round of that. This needs a little something behind it. So we had a big snowstorm yesterday. And I know some of you guys in other areas will say that is nothing. But for us, it was pretty, I mean, we just have had some really mild winters the last couple of years. So this winter has been especially cold. And now it's kind of showing to be especially snowy um, in light of re recent winters. And so um, it's kind of fun to do something with all the snowflakes today. Alrighty. So we don't have school on Monday because it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, and I am going to work. here so either Sunday afternoon or Monday day we'll finally get all the Christmas decorations down we took down the outdoor lights when we had this big warm-up before this big snowstorm um, let's see and then we have a couple things on Tuesday like always I have papers to contend with um, my daughter and I have been talking a lot about the future of the papers and what we're going to do there. So I think what I'm going to do, oh, see, I have one of these that I have already started. I think I'm going to put down, this is more of a to-do than an actual appointment, but about 1.30. It's usually when I'm, sometimes I go around 3, but we have an appointment that afternoon. So I'm just going to put one thirty to go pick up papers. That gives me the morning that I can work. And then we have afternoon. So let me go ahead and use... I want to use a solid one for the appointment. And that's at 4. And then I have a band booster meeting at 5.30. So I kind of need two little appointment boxes for the evening stuff. And then I can go ahead and use a half box for the morning for working. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think I want to use this guy. That's a lot of stacking going on. Kind of covered up part of my today header, but that's okay. Um, and then let me go ahead and put down more PM. This thing is still going on at 5.30 on that day. We'll see. We'll see if we even have school. Oh my gosh. We didn't have school on Friday because I didn't know when the storm was going to hit. And actually it turned over from downpour of rain to snow and coated everything right when the buses would have been out for the high schoolers. Which would have been all the teenage kids out as well. 
Okay, so Wednesday, yay, gets to be, oh, please let it just be a stay-at-home day. We'll have to do Francesca's papers in the afternoon. And unfortunately, it's going to be like bitter cold. And I think she has, I'm not 100% sure, she may have after school band. Ugh. I don't know if that's starting this week or not. So that means starting even later, which is problematic. I keep putting this down so crooked. Stop it. Oh, so the reason I was saying I didn't know if we'd have school on two, well, we'll have school on Tuesday, I'm pretty sure. We just have more snow coming in is the big deal. That. You know, sometimes I wonder where my brain is. I keep trying to line it up on the right edge, but I can't see it very well. And here is the left edge, just sitting there open for me to use as a guide. Okay, and we'll do her papers probably about 3 o'clock. I really like these little time corners. I just kind of forget to use them. But I do think they kind of help pop things off the page a little bit. And probably, let me put down nine o'clock. Oh, I used all the nine o'clocks. Hmm. Okay, let's go for 8.30. Let's go for 8 o'clock. I did 8 o'clock last week, and it was so nice. I might be able to get away with that. This makes for a very busy afternoon evening. That's when I'm going to deliver my papers. So the... So we have this trip coming up in March that we're thinking that's really a good time for us to kind of quit the papers. And when it's super cold like this, <laughs> you're thinking, yes, yes, <laughs> quit the papers. <laughs> you just can't help it. It's just so cold. Okay, so Thursday day, going to the temple with my mom, so I'm going to put this here and then I have a temple sticker I'm gonna put down um, and our temple is about 45 minutes away from us it's in Columbus so um, I'm LDS Mormon so it's it's not a, a Jewish temple that you would think oh why aren't they going on Saturday <laughs> so okay and then Friday I get to work, so again I get to just put down a half box for that. And I'll pop that down so it doesn't interfere with the weekend banner. This weekend we don't have a ton going on. My daughter's got a thing on Saturday. I don't think I'm going to it. It's for her academic team. It's like a quick recall. And then Sunday I have a couple things. Okay, so let me put down I have ward council in the morning. Let me grab my other stickers. I think I left some that I need over on my other table. 
time for me to clean out the stuff that I've been... There we go. There's that. I think the other one... Oh, no, I don't need that because I've got... Be with that. Alrighty guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I knew I cut myself a stack of stickers last night. Now my personal supply had gotten low. There we go. Too full. And so that ward council, I'm going to use this kind of bluey green one. Don't tell me you didn't cut well. There we go. Well, that top one it sure didn't love. that in the morning. And then I'll put the church sticker on this guy. That was in the kit. Can't seem to find it now. Where's my third page? Aha. Uh -huh. Wandered all the way over here. Okay. And then I have a 1 p.m. meeting. Where did that that guy? Okay. And then went to her friends, but she doesn't really enjoy it herself <laughs> so much. <laughs> Which is a little annoying, but you know, that's how it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put this Monday through Friday here. Um not a so much a meal plan but I think I'm just gonna kind of put there what we had for dinner and, and make sure we're eating at home I think more than anything and then to lay flat there we go and I think I'll go through and put some of this deco in some of these more blank spots don't have a day that I'm necessarily running errands. I probably need a day that I'm running errands, but yeah. Okay, there we go. And let's see. I have most of this sheet left. I used all of the other sheet like this. Um, I have the habit trackers, I have all this cute deco there, some of these little flags. I really love these little flags. Mm. Maybe I'll put that one down up here for taking the tree down, all the Christmas decor. There we go. And have that much left on that sheet so there's quite a bit left and then these kits also are available in a kiss kit which means you get the colors so you get like this coral um, the dark teal and the light teal and stuff in another weekend banner um, the headers and some half boxes and quarter boxes 
so that you can absolutely, you know, if you did half of these, it would still be very pretty and impactful. You could intersperse them with some. Or do one week where you do the full boxes from the kit, another week where you do a strip from beautiful um, scrapbook paper. It's just a, a really lovely way to stretch out a kit or a color scheme that you are infatuated with. So I'm going to go ahead and write stuff in. And if I and pop some... Uh, pop some deco on there, maybe a couple of these icons. So let's get to it. Alrighty guys, I think this is everything I'm going to put in here for today. Um, I really like it. I think, I think I want to kind of move some of this down onto this pattern. Tuesdays are my day that everything kind of gets a little jammed up. Anyway, figuratively and <laughs> space-wise. I think that maybe popping some things down onto the full boxes is, is wise. I kind of like the way that looks. I might even put one of these cute, these cute little swirly guys. Or maybe just a piece of, yeah. So I'm going to pull this down. A tad. And this is like a morning only thing. There we go. I think I really love this. Yeah. So Saturday will probably be, you know, I, I always say I'm going to end this and then I think of, oh, well, I could add. <laughs> Let's say Saturday will probably be my main day to clean. Let me go ahead and grab I think I'll grab one of these. Let's grab this little gray guy. Stick him in there. That would be kind of good if I got most of my I don't think I'll ever be done with work with the sticker shop because there's always more that I want to do and that I can do, but honestly, I'm feeling rather neglectful of my home. So I think that I need to find a little more balance because I could spend all day, every day doing sticker stuff for the shop. So yeah, I still have quite a bit left of this and I will probably, what I'll do is I'll end up using it in my carry-on. 
Um, I like using up the extras. I I can't be one of those people who throws it away. I just can't. I don't want to say I'm a hoarder when it comes to the stickers, but partially used kits kind of just give me such a guilty conscience. I don't know why. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that, uh, that you'll go check out this kit right now. I just have it in the Erin Condren and the Happy Planner size, but hopefully by the time this is actually up on YouTube and you're seeing it, all the sizes, the big happy planner, the mini happy planner, and the Mormon mom, uh, or mom on the go planner, they'll all be, I'll be in the shop. I think it's very pretty and super fun, wintry, and I really, I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. So, it's gonna be a favorite, I can tell. I can tell I'm gonna like it a lot. All right, guys. Have a good one, and I will catch you later.